In this video, I'm going to show you how to create tarmac or concrete bases very simply and very quickly. Let's get started. I'm going to be using a 32mm round base, some 5mm cork sheet, which is pretty simple, pretty easy to get hold of. It's available loads of places, uh, and some tools that we should all have as hobbyists super glue, paints, and some snips. Let's start by shaping the cork to where roughly where we want it size-wise. I'd always recommend having it sticking sort of sticking out a little bit off the uh, off the base. So just tear it roughly into shape. It's a bit long. So just as I said, if you tear this stuff, it makes it nice and uh, organic. And then if you want to add sort of potholes, you can pull bits out of it using your snips. The the chunks of cork will just pull out. Nice and simple. Any small bit, any bits that you sort of take off, don't forget to keep. They're always handy for use on other basings. So you want to make this look as sort of destroyed as possible, as I said. But if you are looking to do something a bit more new looking, um, obviously keep the edges straight if you want to. But very simple. Something along those lines. Spot of super glue on the bottom. I have primed the base uh, in black first. It just helps everything adhere to the base as opposed to the plastic. Uh, pop it on there. And just let that dry. Next stage is base coating. Uh, if you are doing tarmac, I would suggest painting the cork black. If you want to do a sort of concrete, uh, a slightly darker grey. Uh, and then work up through as we work it up through dry brushing. Uh, so I would start with a black for tarmac and a grey for concrete. Apply several thin dough coats of uh, your choice. As I said, in this case, we are. I'm just going to do tarmac, so we are using a black paint. You could airbrush this on, you could spray this on, or you could brush it on by hand. The choice is completely up to you. They all work quite well. Just remember that cork is mildly absorbent and it will suck up some of the paint. Uh, you will also need a slightly thinner paint to make sure you get it into all of the uh, the little recesses and the cracks. You want to get everything covered as well as possible. So make sure you push it all in to all of the uh, as I said, all the recesses. There we go. Uh, once everything is completely covered in black or the grey, as I said, if you're choosing to do concrete, simply put it to one side and let it dry. You can completely overhang the base with the cork, so you don't have any areas that you would need to go back and fill in. Uh, however, sometimes if you are going to be leaving little areas like this, uh, there is loads of options for filling it in. There is obviously a variety of texture pastes that you could use, uh, sand, grit, grass, tufts, plants, however you want to do it. It all depends on what you're, what setting you're trying to achieve. Um, so fill it in as you prefer. Next up, we are going to dry brush with some dark grey. I'm using Eschen grey, slightly lighter grey, using Dawnstone, and then very, very gently using Celesta grey, just on the edges of the, uh, of the cork. If you want to keep it a little bit darker, so maybe the tarmac looks a bit newer, just don't highlight, uh, don't dry brush quite as... Uh, much with that, maybe just stick to those two. It all depends on the age, how aged you want the tarmac to look. Okay, first up is Eschen Grey, so this is going to be a, a reasonable dry brush over all of the edges of the cork. Uh, not too heavy, but you want to make sure everything's caught. So just you're showing off all the edges uh, and all the tears in the cork, etc. etc. Second dry brush is going to be with a lighter grey. As I said, I'm using Dawnstone. And just be a bit more gentle. So as you go lighter with your dry brushes, just be a little bit more sparing with them. Because uh, if not, basically you end up turning the tarmac grey. Uh, and that's not kind of... The, you want to keep that sort of black tarmac look. So try and keep it like that. Just hitting the edges around the pothole that you created. Very gently, very lightly, and very quick. Okay, Celesta Grey next. Uh, this being the very lightest grey, be very sparing with this. You just want to hit the main sort of outer edges of this. So 
So just around the outside like that, and then obviously around your pothole, just to bring that out a little bit. And that is tarmac done. The next stage is optional and totally up to you, but if you want to add a yellow line, like a road marking to the base, uh, you will require some masking tape and obviously a yellow paint or a white paint, depending on your road marking. Using your masking tape, simply mask out a line and then I'm using like a stipple brush, but you could use a sponge and some uh, yellow paint. Uriel Yellow from Games Workshop is a very nice colour match to uh, road markings and simply just stipple it on. You want to sort of a little bit, don't want it too neat, you want it to sort of look old and like some of it's rubbed off and obviously do not put any paint uh, in the pothole. Uh, so you want that to look like it is uh, fallen out or the top surface has come out so there wouldn't be any um, paint on it anyway. Right, very quick, very simple. Job done. That is as quick, as simple as a, as um, as it gets. As I said, if you want to do um, concrete, simply swap out the greys and then just dry brush them lighter greys. You can use white markings or, yeah, again, yellow. So very quick, very simple to do. Paint the base edge any colour you want. I think these would look really, really good with the new Fallout from Mephidius, uh, the Fallout tabletop game, uh, obviously set in sort of post-apocalyptic earth would be look really really good so very quick very simple that is it that's tarmac bases done thank you for watching and i will uh, see you again soon